Hello, Rosibel. Hello, Oscar. Good evening, teacher. How are you? Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Oscar. How are you? How do you feel today? Uh, I'm fine. You're it's fine? Possible. Kind of tired? Yeah. Yes, so I know. Yes, I know. But we are almost done with this program, with this module, right? We are almost done. So you are going to have vacations. Mm -hmm. next, next week, teacher. Next yes, week. next week you are going to have vacations. Yeah. Oh, right? <laughs> yes. Okay. So uh, well, we are going to start with today's class. In today's class, we are going to have the warm up. We are going to have vocabulary. We have grammar. And today, we are going to study something different. Okay. Evening. We are going to start. Good evening, Giovanni. We are going to start. Can, can to make requests. That is going to be the topic for today. And of course, we have a speaking. But first, we are going to start with um, the warm up. Okay. So let's see. As you can see right here, we have different um, pictures, right? We have different pictures. So number one, pushing. Pushing is, where is pushing? Where? Is sit next to the table, behind the table, under the table, or on the table? El gato. Yes, but where is pushing? Where? Is behind the table. Behind the table, that means detrás. Out. Or is it debajo? Under. Under. Very good. So pushing is under the table. What about stormy? Where is a stormy? Good evening, Noemi. Where is a stormy? Where? Mm -hmm. It's from the computer. In front of the computer. Computer. The computer. Sorry. Computer. Yes, very good. What about pushing? Pushing is napping. What is the meaning of napping? Napping is tomando una siesta. Okay. So pushing is napping where? Where? On the table. On the table, but it's in the sun, right? Mire, le está dando el sol, ve? In the sun. Yeah, but it's on the table. That is correct. On the table and it's in the sun. What about this one? Pushing and friends are in front of the fan to... ¿Para qué están en frente del ventilador? Fan, ventilador. Cool. Cool down. Para... Cool down. De refrescarse se dice cool cool down. refrescarse ok very good cool down ok this one pushing was playing with the con que estaba jugando pushing was playing with the toilet paper, toilet paper. yes toilet Paper, así se dice papel de baño, pero mire, es el cuarto, number four, ok, así se escribe, toilet paper, yes, el papel higiénico, all right, now, today is pushing's what, last day of school, mom's birthday, first day of school, or birthday, mom birthday, 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 very good, birthday, Birthday. Okay, so now pushing is eating what? Pushing is eating ice cream with butter. Ice cream with butter. Okay, yes, will be right. Yes. And now this one pushing is dressed up as king. As a king. queen. A queen. Yes, as a queen. Mm -hmm. Yes, very good. So now this one, a stormy is floating in a duck. Duck tube. Duck tube. Duck. 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 Duck.
Ductile. Okay. Ductile. Yes. Very good. Mm -hmm. Es es flotador, teacher. Correct. Flotador yes. tubo de pato. Correct. <laughs> Un flotador en forma de pato. Yes. Okay. So now the last one. One more. Okay. Um. Okay. This one. Pushing is. Looking. looking at the star. Looking at the stars. Very good. Yes. Uh, let me see. What about this one? This one. Pushing is hiding where? The bathroom. Oh, no. This one. Ah, sorry. sorry, sorry. In the flowers. Yes. In the flowers. In the yes. flowers. In the flowers. Oh. That is true. And... What about this one? Pushing is? Floating. <laughs> Floating, yes, yes, exactly. With some balloons, the gigas, balloons, yes. Um. Okay, the last one, this one. Pushing oh. is wearing? Um, yo no sé si es del fin o tiburón. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it's say. not a dolphin. Mm -mm. What is this? <laughs> how do you say? Term? Yes, how do you oh, say sirena? Sirena. Yes, it's a sirena. All right. So, sirena <laughs> guys, mermaid. Okay, a mermaid tail. Ah, okay. Mermaid, yes, a mermaid tail. All right. So, this one. Yes, a mermaid. A mermaid tail, es una cola de sirena, esto, miren, sirena se dice mermaid, ok, now dolphin es delfín, shark es, y whale, ok, miren, and whale is ballena, mm -hmm. yes, all right, so, and this one, what is pushing doing? Watching the fish. Yes, pushing is watching the fish. Yes, that is correct. Okay, and this one, boo, boo is? Kissing the mirror. Yes, he is kissing the mirror. Yes, okay, so we have a lot of those, okay. Um. What about this one? Pushing made. A snowball. A snowball. Okay. Well, in this case, I could be right. Some snowballs or a snowman. Casi no tiene figura de snowman, pero yes, all right. A snowman. Okay. So let me see. And the last one. This one. A stormy is. Where is a stormy? In the box. Is in the box. In. Está dentro. dentro. In the box. Okay. Yes. All right, guys. Let's move. Okay. And we are going to start with some vocabulary. Yes. So we have opposite adjectives. Opposite. Yes. Opposite adjectives. So first we have open, which is the opposite of open. ¿Cuál es lo opuesto de abierto? Open. Cerrado. Closed. Closed. Very good. Closed. So we have open. The opposite. Closed. Closed. Yes. Now, heavy. What is the meaning of heavy, guys? Heavy is something pesado. What is the opposite? Light. Light. Very good. We also have dry. What is dry? Dry means seco. Dry means seco. What is the opposite of dry? Wet. Wet. So that means mojado. Yes. Wet, mojado, dry, seco. Now, cold. What is the opposite of cold? Hot. 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 Yes, hot. Uh -huh, exactly. Right? So, Hard. What is the uh, the meaning of hard? Hard is something duro. Okay. 
So, what is the opposite? So. so. Yes. Algo blando. Yes. Hard, duro, soft, blando. Okay. Then, what about fat? Fat, which is the opposite? Thin. Mm. Yes. Mm. So, fat is con sobrepeso. Thin is delgado. Okay. Then we also have tall. What is the short. opposite? Short. short. Very good. Then we also have a strong. Look at this. A strong. What is the opposite? Weak. Weak. So teacher, what is a strong? A strong is fuerte. fuerte. Weak is devil. Yeah. Okay. So then we also have tidy. What is the meaning of tidy? Do you know what is tidy? Like this, tidy. Ordenado. Oh no, tidy is ordenado. Okay, so ordenado. If you want to say, I am a tidy person. Soy una persona ordenada. Yes, I am a tidy person. Ordenado, okay? What is the opposite? Un tidy. tidy. Um, Correct. Are you tidy or untidy, guys? <laughs> I am tidy, okay? Uh, sometimes tidy, sometimes untidy, okay? Exactly. <laughs> okay, so it depends, right? Okay, guys. So then we also have Joan, okay? Joan, which is the opposite? Uh, Joven yes. Y... yes, y mayor, okay? Una persona joven y alguien mayor, okay? Then we also have beautiful. What is the opposite of beautiful? Ugly. Ugly. Very good. Pronunciation. Ah, oh, ugly. Okay? Ugly. Yes. Then we also have long. That means largo, long. Okay, and we also have short. 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 Yes, short. Corto. Okay. Then we also have curly. Curly. And what is curly? Curly means colocho. Yes. And a straight means liso. In this case, when we talk about hair, for example, I have a straight hair, but some of you probably have curly hair. Okay, curly hair, cabello colochito, okay, colocho, yes? And a straight hair, cabello liso, yes? Okay, then we also have rough. What is the meaning of rough? Rough means aspero, aspero. Algo que es áspero, cuando se pasa raspa, áspero, ok, rough. Yes, a smooth, algo que es suave, a smooth. Ok, and then we also have, this is for uh, men, ok, eso es para hombres, beautiful and ugly, eh, para mujer, and handsome and ugly, para hombre, ok. Entonces, so, si usted quiere decir, en este caso, eh, un hombre guapo, a handsome man. Una mujer guapa, bonita, a beautiful woman. Okay? So, beautiful for uh, women and handsome for men. Yes? So, now we also have quiet. All right? Somebody that is quiet. Okay, silencio, sil silencioso, quiet, noisy, ruidoso, yeah, noisy, ruidoso. Then we also have narrow. What is narrow? What do you think narrow is? Narrow? No idea of narrow? Narrow is angosto. Angosto. 
Mm -hmm. So wide, right, is the opposite and means ancho. Okay, so narrow, angosto, algo que es angosto. Okay, a belt can be narrow or wide. Un cincho, a belt, all right? A belt can be narrow or wide. It depends if you like narrow belts or wide belts. Okay, depende como le gustan a usted. Okay, so then we also have thick, thick, that means grueso. Thick. Algo que es grueso. Ok. Recuerdo, eso es angosto y el wide es ancho, pero grueso se dice thick. Yes. And thin, otra vez, miren, el mismo que vimos la vez pasada, eso es delgado. Thin. Y es the opposite of thick as well. También es el opuesto de grueso. Eso es delgado. Thin. Ok. Then we also have Big, which is grande, and we also have the opposite that is a small. Pequeño. Yes. Small. And this one, guys, that this one is for you to use this month, okay? So sometimes you like fancy things or plain things. So fancy is algo? Yes, fancy. What is the meaning of fancy? What do you think fancy is? Any idea? Es como, como una bata, teacher. Oh, okay, no. In this case, fancy es algo lujoso, algo sofisticado. Okay? So, fancy es algo lujoso o algo sof uh, sofisticado. Okay? Por eso es que a veces dice las personas, bien fancy. Okay? Porque entonces es como bien sofisticado, bien, bien lujoso. Ok, y tenemos el opposite, lo opuesto de fancy, que es plain. Plain. Plain es simple. Algo simple, algo que no es lujoso, algo que no es sofisticado, simplemente simple. Ok. Yeah. For example, sometimes you like fancy clothes. A usted le puede gustar la ropa bien sofisticada. Or you can like plain clothes. La ropa simple. ¿Ya? Yeah? So, fancy, sofisticado, plain, simple. ¿Ya? Yeah? Then we also have married, which is casado. Single, soltero. ¿Ok? We also have empty, which is vacío. Empty. Empty. Si usted tiene su celular en inglés, póngalo en inglés. All right. So, Empty means vacío. Y si usted se va a los mensajes, cuando usted borra todo, le va a decir empty, vacío. Full, lleno. Cuando usted eh, ve su memoria, ¿verdad? Que, que le dice full, full storage. Que está completa. ¿Ya? Yeah. So then we also have alive. Alive is vivo. We are alive. Nosotros estamos vivos. We are alive. We. We are. We are alive. And that is the opposite. Muerto. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Then we also have fast and slow. Yeah, fast. Something that is fast is rápido. And slow is lento. And we have a total. Right there. Yeah. So what is the meaning of bitter? Bitter is? Acido. Acido. Yes. Acido. Okay. Something that is bitter. Oh. Yeah. Uh, you know, bitter can mean acido, eh, amargo. agrido, amargo. Ajá. Uh -huh. Esos tres como interpretaciones puede tener. Bitter. And sweet is the opposite, which is dulce. Okay, then we also have light and the opposite is dark. Okay, what is light and what is dark? Uh -huh. Light means claro, claro, 
Ajá, algo que es claro, algo que es light. El light puede significar muchas cosas, depende del contexto. ¿Okay? ¿Se acuerda que el, aquí en el anterior vimos heavy light? Entonces, depende del contexto. En este caso estamos viendo light, que es claro, algo que, es, uh, que tiene luz, es claro. Por eso tenemos el yellow, un color uh, amarillo, porque es claro. And we have dark, which is oscuro. Light, claro, dark, oscuro. And we also have old, new. Okay, old, new. And we also have blunt and sharp. Okay, what is the meaning of blunt? Blunt means, do you know blunt? Blunt means desafilado, desafilado, algo que no tiene filo, blunt, yeah? blunt, and sharp, afilado, because it's the opposite, okay, mm -hmm. so sharp, afilado, blunt, desafilado, clean and dirty. Clean means limpio and dirty means sucio. Yeah. Rich and poor. Rico y pobre. Rich, poor. Mm -hmm. Rich, poor. And we also have cheap, expensive. Cheap means barato. Something that is cheap and something that is expensive. Um, tell me something that is cheap. Tell me something no. that you consider that barato. is Yeah, but tell me something. Dígame algo que usted considera que es barato. Tell me something. My, my pen is cheap. Okay, my pen is cheap. And now tell me something that is expensive. Okay. Okay. My watch is expensive. Okay, my watch wow. is expensive. Okay, very good. Yes. Uh -huh. Then we also have difficult and easy. Something that is difficult, difficult, easy, fácil. Okay, difficult. Uh, what is difficult for you? But not English. Yes, <laughs> speaking English. <laughs> English. Okay, listening, okay, listening is difficult, okay? Yes, but English is easy, okay? Then we also have good and bad. So, good, bueno, bad, malo. So, se quiere decir, eso es malo. That is bad. That is bad. Eso es bueno. That is good. O si le quiere decir a alguien... Tú eres bueno. Tú eres bueno. You are good. Tú eres malo. You are bad. You are good, teacher. Okay, thank you. Yes, you as well. You are good, okay? So then we also have high and then we also have low. What is the meaning of high and what is the meaning of low? Alto y bajo. Alto y bajo. Correct. High and low. Okay, how do you say puente? Bridge. Bridge, correct. Mire, lo que usted ve aquí es un puente. Puente se dice bridge. Okay, so a high bridge, un puente alto, or a low bridge, un puente bajo. Okay, those are adjectives. Todos son adjetivos, guys. Todos, todos, todos son adjetivos. All of them. All are additives, okay? Yeah, try to learn this by heart. Trate de de, um, review this. Repáselos cuando eh, tenga tiempo. Y apréndaselos de memoria, okay? All right. So then, let's Dice, continue. Uh -huh. Pasarela es password. The password? ¿Sí? Ah, no, no. Um, who knows what is the, how do you say pasarela? ¿Alguien sabe? No? Okay. So, pasarela depende, bueno, en ese caso creo que 
es la pasarela normal, o sea, la que usted me está preguntando. Eh, foot runway. Break. Ok, ajá. The runway es la pasarela, pero de moda. Uh -huh. Se puede, eh, pero la pasarela que creo que Rocío nos está preguntando es la que nosotros cruzamos. Yes. So, entonces es Footbridge. Footbridge. Foot okay. Y solo bridge, así como bridge, así es puente. Uh -huh. Ok. Very good. So let's move. So now, yes, let's start with the main topic for today. So today we are going to study can. Can and can't. All right. Can and can't. To make requests and to ask for permission. Yeah. Uh, let me see. Uh, Giovanni, help us reading the information that we have. Hay unos alert. Eh, hasta can you help me? Hasta aquí, Giovanni. Ok. We use can in this way. To ask for something. To ask to do something. To ask other people to do things for you. Here are some examples. Can we open the window in here? Can we sit here? Can I have two coffee and cook, please? Can you help me? Okay, continue. Continue? Yes. Okay. To be polite in English, you can uh, please and the end of question asking some, some no. to, to do something for you. Can you get me the menu, please? Can you tell me the time, please? Yes, thank you. Okay, so first of all, pronunciation. This one is us. Us. Us, yes. And this one is polite. 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 Okay, very good. So let's see. We use can in these ways, guys. To ask for something, to ask to do something, and to ask other people to do things for us. Can is para pedir eh, permiso y también para... Pedir um, cosas que queremos que los demás hagan. ¿Ok? Para eso lo utilizamos en otros usos que ustedes van a ver más adelante. ¿Ok? So then, but right now we are going to cover this to make requests and to ask for permission. So here we have the examples. Can I open the window in here? Aquí usted está pidiendo permiso y está preguntando si usted puede abrir la ventana. Yes. So, can I open the window in here? All right. Then, can we sit here? Nos podemos sentar aquí cuando usted va, ¿verdad? Que es bien común. Me puedo sentar aquí. So, can I sit here? Can I sit here? Okay. And if you notice, we use can at the beginning porque es una pregunta. Okay. So, can we sit here? Can I have two coffees and a Coke, please? Es como decir, me puede, ok, me puede dar dos cafés y una coca, por favor. Can you help me? Mira, cuando usted pide ayuda, can you help me? ¿Me puede ayudar? Can you help me? Cuando se va a pedir ayuda, tiene que decir así. Ah, Can you help me? Then it says to be polite. And what is polite? Polite is amable. Okay, so to be polite in English, you can add please. Lo que vimos con would. ¿Se acuerda que para sonar más amable todavía podemos decir please al final? So at the end of a question, asking someone to do something for you. Can you get me the menu, please? It's like saying, me podría traer el menú. O me puede traer el menú. Me puede traer el menú, por favor. Can you get me the menu, please? 
Or can you tell me the time, please? ¿Me puedes decir la hora? Por favor. So can es poder. Ok. Can means poder. Y después se conjuga dependiendo de, del su sujeto, ¿verdad? Me puedes. Uh -huh. uh, now, let's, let's move. Ok. Let's move. So, we also have some negative replies. Ahora, ¿cómo podemos responder? Ok. Podemos po responder de muchas maneras. For example, here, si alguien nos pregunta, can I open the window in here? ¿Puedo abrir la ventana? Can I open the window in here? Una de dos, dice, sí o no, ¿verdad? Con respuesta corta o larga, dice. Muy bien. En este caso podemos decir una respuesta corta. Yes. Puede decir yes o puede decir yes you can. Okay. ¿Y cuáles serían las respuestas cortas? Short answers or long answers. So, for example, um, yes, yes, you can. Okay. Or no, you can't. Like that. Yes, you can. Or no, you can't. Yeah. No, right? So can we sit here? Ah, uh, yes, you can. All right. Or no, you can't. All right. It depends. Lo que usted considera ahí. Ahora, también tenemos más maneras de responder. Que es lo que vamos a ver aquí. Okay. So for example, can I open the window in here? Actually, I would prefer it closed. Mire, es como decir, en realidad, actually, es en realidad. Ok, en realidad. Actually, I prefer it closed. La prefiero cerrar. Y ahí le está diciendo que no, sin decirle que no. Sin decirle, no, you can't. ¿Verdad? Aquí le está diciendo... Eh, la prefiero cerrada, es decir, no, no la puedes abrir, pero en otras palabras. So now, this one, I'm sorry, but I'm cold. También le dice que no, sin decirle no, exactamente. Ok, so, I'm sorry, but I'm cold. Es como decir, cuando usted quiera decir tengo frío, no es I have cold, es I am cold. Cuando usted diga, diga ay, tengo frío. I am cold. Tengo calor. I am hot. Yes. I am cold. Tengo frío. Yes. So I'm sorry, but I'm cold. Then can we sit here? Sorry. The seat's taken. Esas son frases que se las tienen que aprender de memoria. Mire, the seat esto es una contracción. ¿De qué? It's like saying this. It's like saying, sorry, coma. The seat, the seat is, is taken. Is taken, uh -huh. correct. So, sorry, the seat is taken. Eso es una contracción, lo que está viendo ahí. Entonces, la manera larga es esta. Ok, sorry, the seat is taken. Es como decir, lo siento. Pero el asiento ya está tomado. Es como decirle ya está ocupado. Así puede decir siempre que usted diga, no, ya está ocupado. Así, sorry, the seat is taken. Mm -hmm. So now, I'm sorry, but you can't. Someone else is sitting here. Fíjese, aquí da una respuesta. Siempre le dice que no puede, pero le dice por qué. Es como que yo le pregunte, ¿verdad? ¿Me puedo sentar aquí y usted me diga no? Ok, uno se siente así como, ok, ¿verdad? Entonces aquí, para evitar como esa incomodidad, all right, so you can go ahead and give an explanation, ok? I'm sorry, but you can't. Someone else is sitting here. Y le digo, no, no puede, pero porque alguien más está sentado. 
Okay. And if you notice here it says, sorry or I'm sorry makes a negative reply more polite. Cuando usted le vaya a decir que no a alguien con esto, que le dice no, ¿verdad? Puede decir, I'm sorry, but you can't. Y le da una explicación pequeña. ¿Ok? Por ejemplo, si alguien le pregunta, um, can I use your computer? Fíjese. Uh, can you use your, uh, I'm going to write it down here. Aquí lo voy a poner. Si alguien le pregunta, can I use your computer? Y, y dígame, no, no, no puede, no. Pero dígamelo en polite, amable, ¿ok? A ver, una respuesta amable. Can I use your computer? Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, okay. but I'm sorry, I'm do, uh, sending email. Excellent. I'm sorry, but I'm using it. Excellent. I'm sorry, but I'm okay. I'm going to decir las dos respuestas. I'm sorry, but I am using it. Okay, so Noemi said, I'm sorry, I am sending emails. And Carlos Amaya said, I'm sorry, but I am using it. Y fíjese bien, guys. Esas estructuras son las que ustedes ya eh, estudiamos. Miren, I am sorry, verbo to be. Y I am sending emails, presente continuous. Miren, y las dos las han formulado igual. Verbo to be, presente continuous. ¿Ok? Para que vea que todo lo que usted estudia es lo utiliza. Ok, aquí dice, I'm sorry, lo siento. I am sending emails. Estoy enviando correos electrónicos. Ok, lo siento. I'm sorry. But es una uh, uh, conjunction, es una conjunción. Y este es pero. I'm sorry, pero la estoy usando. I am using it. Do you have any question? Tiene preguntas. Hasta aquí. Question so far? Doubts? No? Okay. No. Okay, don't worry. Oh, I'm going to. Okay. Uh, now, um, let's see. So we have. Different examples. We have more examples. Eh, Rosibel, help us reading todos los ejemplos. Okay, dice. Can I have the menu? Can you pass me the newspaper? Can she sit next to, to me? Can we play you now? Can they use the, the BIP? Be lounge. Can I pay by credit card? No, can I to pay by my credit card? Okay. Can you post this letter for me? No, can you to post this letter for me? Excellent. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. All right. So now let's see. First of all, um, as you can see, the first thing that I want to mention is the following. Si usted se fija, guys, para todos los pronombres, quiere decir para todos los sujetos, for all the subjects, for all pronouns, es el mismo can. No agregamos eh, nada más. Es decir, va can, sujeto y verbo. ¿Sí? Un error bien común que cometemos en ocasiones cuando estamos aprendiendo ese tipo de, de estructuras es que... Eh, Decimos, can I to have? Le agregamos ese tú. Usted no le va a agregar un tú porque eso no, no existe. 
¿Ok? Así como usted ve la estructura aquí, así es la estructura. Va quien, sujeto, verbo y el complemento y, y el signo de interrogación. ¿Ok? So, can I have the menu? Yes, of course. Sí, por supuesto. Yes, of course. ¿Ok? Yes, of course. Si usted no quiere decir nada más yes, vean. Puede decir, yes, of course. Claro que sí. O solo dice, of course. Y se lo da. Of course. Mire, también puede decir, absolutely. Es como decir, por supuesto, absolutamente. Claro que sí. Son sinónimos. ¿Ok? So, can you pass me the newspaper? ¿Me puedes pasar el periódico? Pass me. Pasar, me, pasar, me, ok, pass me, yeah, can you pass me the newspaper, can she sit next to me, can she sit next to me, me puede sentar ella a la par mía, next to me, can we pay you now, can we pay you, pagar, Pay. Can we pay you now? ¿Te podemos pagar en este momento? Now. Ahorita. En este momento. Can they use the VIP lounge? Si se fija el VIP, lo hemos adoptado a nuestro español. Así decimos, VIP, pero eso viene del inglés. VIP. Uh -huh. VIP. Es inglés. So, can they use the VIP lounge? ¿Qué es un lounge? Es un salón. Es una sala. Ok. Can I pay by credit card? This is whenever you go shopping and you ask, right? Hey, can I pay by credit card? Siempre, esto lo, lo preguntamos, bueno, algunos decimos, ¿verdad? ¿Puedo pagar con tarjeta de crédito? Can I pay by credit card? Can I pay by credit card? Y es lo que le decía, mire, can I to pay by credit card? Esto no, aquí dice not, eso no se debe de hacer, lo que está en paréntesis. Es lo que le explicaba anteriormente. Okay, que ese tú no va. So, can I pay by credit card? Yes, of course. Absolutely. Or if not, right. No, I'm sorry. Yeah. Can you post this letter for me? Post. Okay. Post. Publicar. And the short answers, yes, I can, no, I can't. Or yes, you can, no, you can't. Y aquí solo le, le sustituye el sujeto. Yes, I can. Yes, she can. Yes, he can. Whatever. Depende de su pregunta, ¿verdad? Depende de la pregunta. Con, la, con las respuestas que colocó usted, teacher, eh, siempre lleva un signo de admiración. Que no. Es los no. No, no. Yo no. lo pongo siempre porque como a veces cuando uno eh, dice... Cuando usted habla, en ocasiones eh, no es muy como, ¿cómo le puedo decir? Mm, para no sonar tan simple, tenemos que hacer una entonación como un poco alegre, ¿verdad? Oh, yes, of course. Yes, of course. Ajá. Okay. Ajá. Así. Para, por eso puse... Por eso, eh, ah, ok. Ajá. Para no sonar como bien simple, así. Yes, of course. No. <risa> ok. Yes, of course. All right. Yes. <risa> Thank ajá. you. Right. Ver, y, para, y cuando usan el may I como para, por ejemplo, dijera may I pay by credit card. Ah, yes. yes, may I pay es aún más um, um, polite, es un poco más amable que can. May también uh -huh. para pedir permiso, para hacer uh -huh. como un pedido. Eh, son casi similares, pero me es un poco más amable que, que Ken. Ok. Sí, pero es casi lo mismo. Sí, son verbos modales. Uh -huh. 
Yes. Okay. Very good. So now let's keep moving. Okay. Let's keep. Uh, let's keep going. All right, guys. Then we also have some examples um, of after school club rules. Eso es como en un um, en un environment en un ambiente real. Okay. For example, after a school club rules. Esos son clubs que en las escuelas tienen después de clases, en ocasiones, all right? So it says, you can make a snack. Make sure it's healthy. ¿Qué es make a snack? Dice, you can, tú puedes preparar un snack, una merienda. Make sure it's healthy. Healthy means saludable. Yes. You can, positive, you can do homework. Y fíjese bien aquí, guys. Aquí no se le pone el tú, ¿ok? Porque esas ya son oraciones. Si se fija, las otras eran preguntas, las que vimos al principio, pero aquí ya estamos viendo sentences, oraciones. Entonces la estructura siempre va a ser sujeto, you can, verbo modal can, ¿ok? You can, verb, do, Homework. Puedes hacer tareas. No, you can to do. Eso no existe. Ok. Eso no existe. So, you can do homework. Puedes hacer tareas. You can play computer games. Take turns. Tomen turnos. You can do crafts. ¿Qué son las crafts? Crafts means manualidades. Esa manualidad donde cortan eh, diferentes como cositas, ¿verdad? Uno. Y aquí dice, ask for scissors and glue. Pegamento. Mm -hmm. You can read magazines. What is the meaning of magazines? Magazines are revistas. And then we have, you can watch DVDs. Okay, um, Janet, help us reading, you can't. You can't. Is Janet there? Well, I, I do not know, she's not there. Um, no, yes. perdón, no podía activar el, okay. el micrófono. You can't. You can't make a snack. Make sure it's healthy. You can do homework. Okay. You can play computer computer games. You can do craft. You can read magazine. You can watch. DVDs. Yes, perfect. Uh, Kevin, help us reading what you can't do. You, you can't practice sport as, as inside. 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 Mm -hmm. You can't be nasty inside. Mm -hmm. you, you can't you can't leave, mm -hmm. you can't lean toys and gaze out. Out. Uh, you can eat sweets. 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 Sweet. Yes, sweets. Very good. Thank you. Okay, guys. So you can't. Fíjese la pronunciación, guys. Okay. So this one is can. And this one is can't. Can, can't. So you can't practice sports inside. You can't be noisy inside. Noisy, ruidoso. Inside, dentro. So, no puede. No puede hacer ruido adentro. No puede practicar ni un deporte adentro. You can't leave toys and games out. 
no puede dejar, ¿qué dice? Los juguetes y afuera, jugué. aventados, right? Uh -huh. So you can't leave toys and games out. Yeah? Tidy up. Tidy up es como decir clean, limpie, ordene. Tidy up. And you can't eat sweets. Sweets es lo mismo que decir candies. Yeah. So, yes, guys. Do you have any question? Do you have doubts? Preguntas, dudas. Okay, so if I want to say, si yo quiero decir, guys, eh, tú puedes abrir la puerta. ¿Cómo lo digo? You can open the door. You can open the door. Okay. Now, if I want to say, guys, um, tú puedes cerrar la ventana. You can close the windows. Excellent. Now, if I want to say, tú puedes comprar los libros. You can buy, buy the books. You can buy the books. Buy, buy. books. Comprar. Mm -hmm. eh, tú puedes pintar la oficina. You can paint the office. You can paint the office. Okay, very good. Yes, excellent. Okay, like that. All right, so now let's look at the picture. Okay, so let's make the question and let's also give the answer. If you see a green face, that is a positive answer. If you see a red face, that is a negative answer. Okay, so let's see. Number one, can I what? Can I? According to the image, can I? Watch the TV. Okay, can I watch the TV? Okay, that is the question, okay? Esa es la pregunta. Can I watch the TV? Now, a positive answer. Yes, I can. Yes. I can. You can. You can. You can. Just you can. Pero es como que usted está pidiendo permiso a otra persona. Okay? Okay. Yes. Yes, you can. Okay, now number two. According to the picture. Uh -huh. Can I? Can I play the DVD? No. Uh, no sé cómo se produce. Use, use yes. the DVD. Excellent. Ah. Can I use the DVD? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, a negative answer. A negative answer. No, you can't. No, you can't. No, you can't. Okay, now, para ser amables. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Um... <laughs> uh -huh. But you can't. Okay, I'm sorry, but you can't, okay? Lo siento, pero no puedes. Incluso, ajá, eso suena amable. Okay? I'm sorry, but you can't. Okay? Very good. What about this one? What is the question? Can I? Take a picture. Can I take a picture? Okay, give me a negative answer. No, you can't. No, you can't. Okay, no, you can't. No, you can't. Now give me an explanation why I can't. Why not? Mm -hmm. Because I'm not ready. Because I'm not ready. Excellent. Because I'm not ready. Excellent. Mire. No, no puede. 
porque, because es de respuesta, porque no estoy lista. I'm not ready. No, you can't because I'm not ready. Aquí ya da una respuesta larga y explica por el por qué no. Ok, okay. excellent. So now, let's move. We also have those three. Ok, the first one. Can I? Uh -huh. Can I do? Can I use? Use calculator. Okay. Okay, can I use your calculator? Yes. Uh -huh. Positive answer. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Okay, next. Can I? Look at this. Play the music. Can I play music? Okay, can I play music? Positive answer. Mm -hmm. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Okay, yes, you can. Okay, yes, you can. Okay, so now the last one. Can I? You say a computer? Can I use your computer? Okay. Yes, your computer. Your computer. Puedo utilizar tu computadora. Can I use your computer? Negative answer. No, you can. No, you can't. But give me why I can't. ¿Por qué yo no puedo? Why? Because there... <laughs> because... <laughs> There is an energy. Okay, excellent. Because there isn't energy. Mire, no, no puedes porque no hay electricidad, no hay energía. I am using a computer. Because I am using the computer. Mm -hmm. Very good. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Um, all right, guys. So you see, do you have any doubt? Tiene preguntas, tiene dudas. Eh, siempre se podría utilizar isn't. Because there isn't energy. Sí. Uh, por el isn't. En Ajá. ese caso, recuerde que el, uh, depende de, de, su, de su complemento. Ah, ok. Ajá. Porque en este caso energía es algo singular. Energy. Entonces por eso utilizamos isn't. Mm, ok. Ok. Thank yes. you. Any other doubt? No? No. Ok. Let's move. Ok. So now we have more examples. Fíjense bien. Tenemos más ejemplos. Ok. So it says... Asking for permission, and we have not giving permission. Esta línea es que esas personas piden permiso y aquí se les niega. Okay? Y lo mismo aquí, asking for permission, y aquí se les niega. For example, can I watch TV? No, you can't. You have to do your homework. You see? Le decimos, no, no puedes, pero damos una razón. Can I watch TV? No, you can't. You have to do your homework. Can I walk the dog? ¿Puedo eh, salir a pasear con el perro? Can I walk the dog? No, you can't. You have to go to the supermarket. Yes. Can I go to the cinema? No, you can't. You have to wash the car. Can I play in the park? No, you can't. You have to take a bath. Okay. Or you have to take a shower. 
Can I go to the beach? No, you can't. You have to paint the fence. What is fence? La cerca. The fence. You have to paint the fence. Can I watch the birds? No, you can't. You have to water the flowers. Water, regar. Teacher, pero water is agua. Sí, pero es un verbo que significa regar también. Water the plants or uh, water the flowers. Regar las flores. Can I eat ice cream? No, you can't. You have to have lunch or you have to eat lunch. Cualquiera de las dos está bien. Have lunch or eat lunch. And the last one, can I ride my bike? No, you can't. You have to go to the hairdresser. You see? Very easy. Okay. All right. Any question before we start with the teamwork? Any doubt about this? Pregunta, dudas. All right, I'm going to take the attendance first and then I'm going to assign you to different rooms, okay? So here we go. Amanda Yesenia Lopez. Present. Thank you. Andrea Lisbeth Monge. Present. Thank you. Brian Alexander Monterosa. Present. Thank you. Um, Carlos Alberto Vega. Carlos Alberto Vega. Okay. Tina Maribel Rivas. Present teacher. Thank you. Enrique Arturo Enriquez. Present teacher. Thank you. Janet Amaya de Reyes. Present teacher. Thank you. Jacqueline Marlene Pérez. Jacqueline Marlene Pérez. Thank you. Joel Alberto Barrera. Okay, thank you. Eh, Juan Carlos Jovel Amaya. Here. Thank you. Kevin Adiel Someta Rosa. Present. Thank you. Luis Ernesto Galvez Manzanares. Luis Giovanni Villa Jovel. Present. Thank you. Mirna Yesenia Jiménez Moreno. Yes, thank you. Noemi Claribel Mendez Chavez. Present. Thank you. Um, Eunice Alvarez Domínguez. Eunice. Okay. Oscar Giovanni Figueroa. Present. Thank you. Ronald Eduardo Montes. Yes. Present. Rosibel Hernández. Present. Thank you. Jancy Odalis Rendero. Present teacher. Thank you. Kenny Alexandra Montenegro Galdames and Marlon Orlando Calles Garcia. Okay. Let me go ahead and update that. Okay, guys. Uh, okay, Joel and Mirna. Thank you. Okay, so right now what we are going to do is the following. We have a uh, teamwork right now. So what you need to do is that you are, you are going to write three things people can do and three things people can't do at the following places. That means that you are going to create six sentences with this and six sentences with this. So, oraciones. Va a crear oraciones de cosas que se puede hacer en el zoológico y cosas que no se puede hacer en el zoológico. Tiene que crear Tres cosas que sí se pueden hacer y tres cosas que no se pueden hacer en el zoológico. Luego, el mismo equipo, aquí le he puesto Team One, va a crear tres oraciones de cosas que se pueden hacer en la playa y tres cosas que no se pueden hacer en la playa. Team One. Team Two, at the school and at the restaurant. Team Three, at the hospital and at the workplace, en el trabajo. And team four at the cinema and in a job interview. Lo mismo. Son seis de cada lugar. Tres que sí se puede y tres que no se puede. Okay? So right now I'm going to create the teams. 
Los voy a poner en equipos, los que no se puedan unir. It's ok. Y no se una. Por eso voy a crear los equipos un poquito grandes para que no se quede nadie sin participar. Ok, le voy a dar los equipos. Team One, equipo 1. Team One, Andrea, Giovanni, Kevin, Mirna, and Ronald. Team Two, Brian, Carlos, Maribel, and Oscar Figueroa. Team Two. Team Three, Enrique, Joel, Noemi, and Rosibel. And Team Four, Amanda, Janet, Jacqueline, and Odalis. Okay. Let's go. No me pude unir, Tiche. Bueno, ya la mando otra vez. Ok. Let me see. Ok. Salón está usted, Rosibel. En el 3. Sí. Bueno, quiero ver. Rosibel. Ok. No, no sé. Si sí, nos referimos a, a alguien, you can. Okay. Sería una, por ejemplo. Can, can, I, say. can I take pictures of animals? Take pictures. Can I do pictures? Okay. <coughs> y creo que escribió una Yesenia de que no se puede. At the hospital. At the workplace. The workplace. Um, at the hospital, at the workplace. At the hospital. Ah, sí. Yes. Okay. You you can't. Okay. Hi, Miss. Hi. Do you have any question? Eh, creo que no. Aquí. Nos hemos repart nos ah. hemos repartido aquí las tres y tres para participar las cuatro. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Yes, uh, you can't. Can I eat? Eh, ¿Cómo fue que mencionaste, Ronald? Ajá. Can I La eat? Uh -huh. uh, you can eat uh, in the cafeteria of the zoo. Okay. Sí, 
yo no puedo alimentar, entonces I can't. I can't. Uh, feed me deja alimentar si no me equivoco. Ya estamos en las que no se pueden hacer. En las negativas, sí. Ok, no se pueden alimentar los animales. Correcto. You can feed the animals. Sí. I can feed eh, the animals. ¿Cómo la, cómo la, así, ¿verdad? Sí. I can feed the animals. Ok. Eh, touch, touch también. <laughs> you, you can touch the animals. ¿Los puedes tocar? Ah, touch. Mm. I can touch the animals. I can. Eh, ¿Cómo se diría? Teacher, ocupo su, su, el comodín. <risa> ok, tell me. Eh, yo quiero decir, no, yo no quiero tirar basura en el zoológico. I can eh, rush. Ok. In the zoo. Pero yo no quiero, no es lo mismo que yo no, no I can. Quiero, no. Yo no. Bye. Uh, I, or, yes, I can or you can't. Tú no puedes, ¿verdad? You can no. throw. Throw garbage. Garbage in the zoo. You can't throw garbage. Permítame. Okay, like that. You can throw. You can throw. Uh, tirar. Throw. Es estirar. Yes, es estirar. Tirar o lanzar. Eh, tenemos tres. Eh, ¿Qué otro lugar era en la playa? <coughs> ok, guys. So, yes, there you go. Ahí está la. Ya la, la encontré. Situación. Vaya, ahora, um, what is your team? Let me see. Let me see qué equipo son ustedes. Dos. Yes. So, your team two. So, that means. El, at the school and at the restaurant. Eso es. Serían tres cosas que se pueden hacer en la escuela y tres cosas que no se pueden hacer igual en el restaurante. Yes. Ah, en el restaurante. Tres cosas que se, o sea, que tenemos que sacar tres cosas de la escuela y tres cosas que positivas. Serían seis, seis oraciones por cada. Yes, por cada lugar. Uh -huh. Ay, Dios mío. Vale, pues vamos a ver, vamos a intentar. Ahorita. A ver qué sale. A ver qué sale. Vaya. En la school. Si hay cosas que se pueden hacer. Platicar durante la clase. Mm, depende, porque ahí solo si el profesor lo solicita. Ahí solamente si se pide palabra. Y si es participativo en eh, las clases. Uh -huh. Si son cerradas, mayormente, de aprendizaje, ¿Sí? y guardar silencio. Cosas que se pueden hacer en, en la escuela. Primero en <risas> Platicar en clase. Uh, puede, puede ser. Um, si se levanta tiene que pedir permiso mm. que sería cosas que se pueden hacer Cosas Pero, bueno. positivas y cosas negativas. 
No, dice hay que hay que, que la gente puede hacer y tres cosas que la gente no puede hacer en los siguientes lugares. Ajá. Vaya, por lo menos ¿Qué piensa usted? reunirse con, con ¿qué hacer, acta, hacer actividades en grupo. Exacto. ¿Cómo sería ahí? Quiero ver, dijo el ciego ahí, no vio. Cae, cae. Entonces, eh, se puede, ¿cómo sería? Hacer, a, a hacer actividad de grupal. Ok, so, guys, veamos. ¿Cómo se podría decir tú puedes hacer actividades grupales? You can do uh, teamwork. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Carlos. Ok, so, you can do uh, teamwork activities. Teamwork. You you can you can you can do. Mm -hmm. You can do teamwork activities. Yes. Mm -hmm. ¿Qué más? Ahora otras dos positivas. Poner atención en clase. Ok. Tú puedes poner atención en clase. ¿Cómo podemos decir eso, Brian? You can. Prestar atención. You can learn. You can pay attention. Excellent. In class. Yes, Maribel. So you can pay attention in class. Mm -hmm. Poner atención, pay attention. In class. In class. Mm -hmm. You can pay attention. Class. You can pay attention in class. Yes. Repeat after me and say pay. 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 <laughs> okay, continue. In class. Where? Tú, tú puedes comer en recreo, se podría. Sí. Yes. Sí. ¿Cómo sería? You can eat a rest. No. You can eat during the break. During. During the break. Mm. 
du, du, during 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 uh, you can eat during the break yes And it the bright the bright the bright. Vale, ya tenemos tres hoy. Hoy, ¿cómo se llama? Las negativas. Tú no puedes hablar en clase. You can... Yo puse no platicar en clases. No, porque tiene que ser con Canva. Tú no debes platicar en clases. You, you, you cannot speak you can in class. Do, do class. ¿Cómo mm -hmm. sería, teacher? Disculpe, sir. Ok, you, fíjese cómo es el negativo. ¿Cómo you tenemos can, el negativo? Ajá, you can't. You can't. Eh, sería take o speak in class. Uh, you can't. Speak. In class. Yes. Se tiene que remarcar bien la teo, la teo a pronunciarla. Speaking, speaking se puede. Mm. You can do speaking in class. No. 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 El, el do no va, Maribel. El do no, no va. Okay. Okay. So you can't. Speak in class. In class. Okay. La siguiente. Yes. No levantarse en clases. Sí, comodín. Okay. No dar lástima en la playa. Le. Ok, so tell me. Eh, es que de las cosas que no se pueden hacer en la playa, es que como todo es playa, todo se hace. No, va. Mm. No puede, ¿cómo? Yo, eh, pero no sé cómo sería, no broncearse excesivamente. Pero no sé qué otra palabra se podría decir, no. No, porque yo no creo, no se puede tener, no se puede bronciar uno. You, you can't take the sun, you can't take the sun for too long. You can't, I'm going to send it. You can't. I can't take the sun. Take the sun for too long. For too, too long. Long. Como por largo tiempo. Huh? You take the song. Okay. Mm -hmm. For too long. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Very good. Vaya, ya solo me faltan las de las del zoológico y las de la playa positivo, ve. Hey, no, hombre, <laughs> ya estuvo. Ya estuvo. <laughs> okay, ready? You finish? Yes, finish. You have finished. Okay, okay. So I wanna listen. Quiero escuchar. Okay, so let me let me let me share the screen. Permítame. Ustedes eran el equipo. Team one. Team one. All right. So team one, tell me things that I can do at the zoo. Okay. I can take a picture. Okay. I can visit the zoo with family. Okay. I can eat in the cafeteria in the Zoom. Cafeteria. Cafeteria. 
Okay. Now tell me three things that I can't do. Algún compañero. You can't eat animals. Yes, I can't eat animals. Yes. Uh -huh. I can't throw garbage in the zoo. Okay. Very good. Yes. I can't touch animal. Excellent. Very good. Excellent. Now tell me three things that I can do at the beach. You can swim at the beach. Yes. Uh, you can bat at the beach. Uh, you can eat fish on the beach. I can eat fish fish at the beach. Number two. Number two. El número dos, ¿cuál dijo? Eh, no sé si lo pronuncio bien. Este, puedes bañar, es, es la, la oración. Oh. I, I can. Oh, yes. I can take a bath. I can I, take a bath. I can bath on the beach. Yes, I can take. take. Yes. Porque swing es nadar. Mm -hmm. Bike es solo bañarse. Mm -hmm. I can take a bath on the beach. Pan. Okay. <laughs> All right. Mm -hmm. Okay, and tell me three things that I can't do at the beach. Okay, I can't drive on the beach. Okay. I can't swim too deep on the beach. Okay. I can't take the sun for too long. Perfect. So now guys, tell me one thing that you can do at the school, one. Um, repeat. No entendí. Okay, tell me. Yes, tell me one thing that you can do. That you can do at the school. Ah. Ronald contestar. Mhm. Uh -huh. Yes, tell, tell me one, tell me just one, one thing that you can do, that you can do at the school. ¿Qué podemos hacer en la escuela? One thing. Uh -huh. Este, I can practice um, company and company uh, compañeros oh i can practice with my classmates ah uh, why my classmates with, with my with my with my classmates i can play uh, football in the in the in the process of uh, uh, in the break time in the break time, I can play football in the break time. Perfect, okay. So now, okay, uh, well, now you already finished. Yo terminó con su eh, actividad. Ahora quiero que empecemos a practicar estas, okay? Miren, estas, for example, can I have an apple? Y ahí le da la cantidad. Can I have one apple? Y ustedes dicen, yes, you can, or no, you can't. All right. Okay. Yes, ustedes okay. responden ahí. Tienen bastantes eh, preguntas como estas, más que todo para que practiquen también vocabulario. Ok. Fíjese bien. Y luego tenemos estas. De igual manera, si usted quiere practicar con estos, por ejemplo, crear más oraciones para que le quede más claro el tema, hágalo. Sí. Okay. Estas. Y si no, se pasa estas. All right? Practice. Okay, continue practicing. Voy a ir al siguiente salón. Okay? Thank you. Thank you. All right, let me see. Okay. Okay, so you finish? Yes. Okay. Yes. So <clears throat> tell me things that we can do at the cinema.
things that we can do? Um, I can sing higher resolution. Mm -hmm. I can watch movies in 3D. Okay. Uh, I can better audio. Okay. And now tell me three things that I can't do at the cinema. I can't enter with food other than from the cinema. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, I can speak slowly. Okay. Um, I can watch movies on any given day, only on the day of the show. Okay. Yes. Very good. Now tell me three things that I can do in a job interview. Okay. Uh, perdí mi cuaderno donde las puse. Mm -hmm. First, you can speak about your background info. Okay. You can tell about your goals and your expectation. Yes. And you can take the water. You can take water. Okay. Now, three things that we can't do. Okay. I can't talk about things that haven't been asked. Mm -hmm. Correct. I can't talk about salary if the interviewer doesn't. I can be shy. And you can be shy. Okay. All right. So now tell me one thing that we can do at the hospital. Can or can't? Can. I can't past <laughs> consult with <laughs> doctor. <laughs> okay. So I can have a consultation. Yes. Okay. I can. I can give. The medicine? You can give oh. medicine, yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, tell me one thing that we can, okay, positive do at the at school. I can learn about, mm -hmm. about different topics. Excellent. Now tell me one thing that you can't do at the school. I can, I can break the rule. I can't break the rules. Yes, very good. Uh -huh. We can't. Break the rules. Excellent. Okay, let's go back to the main room. Let me go ahead and close all rooms and let's go back. Let me see. Okay, so team three, 
team three, I need you to tell us some things uh, that we can do at the hospital and some things that we cannot do, that we can't do at the hospital. Team three. Eh, pusimos, you can read, eh, cosas que pueden hacer es, you can read a book, mm -hmm. you can use the bathroom, you can drink water. Excellent. And cannot, eh, you can't smoke, mm -hmm. you can make noise, <laughs> you can eat. Okay, very good. Now, tell us three things that we can do at the workplace and three things that we can't do at the workplace. Eh, pusimos en, you can attend meeting. Okay. You can take a lunch. Mm -hmm. You can clean your space. And the others, you can sleep mm -hmm. in the in the office. Okay. You can't use the cell phone. Mm -hmm. uh, you can speak with your partner. Very good. Okay. And the last team, okay, team number two. Team number two, tell us things that we can do and things that we can't do at the school. Uh, teacher, yes. we can we can do in war study activities. No, activity. Uh -huh. you can do thing war activity. 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 Yes. You can. You can pay attention in class. Okay. You can, you can eat during the break. During uh -huh. the break, okay. Uh -huh. uh, de ahí las cosas que pueden hacer. You can, you can't uh -huh. speak in class. Okay. You can't. Aquí, si no, aquí no sé si es you can get up get up in class o oh, stand up in class stand up stand up in class yes uh -huh. ok you, you can eat in, aquí no sé tampoco si es in classroom o in class you in can class. eat in, cla in classroom Mm -hmm. In the classroom or in class? Ah, uh, cualquiera de los dos está bien. Estamos bien. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Rosibel, tell me one thing that you can do at the restaurant. Teacher, uh, okay. Improvise. Yes, improvise. <laughs> improvise. Mm -hmm. um, Positive. Yes. You can. You can. Pedir como es, teacher. Ask. Ask. You can ask. Eh, you can ask eh, the menu. You can ask for the menu. For the menu. Yes. Okay, mm. thank you. Uh -huh. Thank you. Um, Giovanni, tell me something that you can do that you can do positive in a job interview. In a, <laughs> in a job interview. Mm -hmm. In an entrevista. Yes. Ah, okay. One thing that you can do, something positive that you can do. I can... Eh, solo, ¿cómo se dice? Lib, eh, libre. 
libre? Sí. Free. Free. Mm -hmm. I can speak uh, free in a job interview. Okay. You can. Okay. You can. Okay. All right. All right. Kevin, tell me one thing that you can't. Negative. That you can't. That you can't do at the cinema. Uh, I can't no, I can't ¿Cómo se dice ruido? ¿Cómo era no hacer ruido en inglés? Um, noise Noise I can noise in the you cinema can. Okay I can't make Make. Hacer ruido. Make noise. I, I can make noise in the cinema. Okay, at the cinema. Yes, very good. Okay. Um, Amanda, can you please tell us one thing that we can do at the zoo? Positive? I can buy the um, snacks. Okay, yes. And okay, thank you. Um, Janice, can you please tell us one thing that we can do positive at the beach? I, I can walk in, I don't know how to say it, the sea. Okay, all right, yes. How do you say, guys? Alguien sabe cómo se dice a la orilla del mar? Así. Okay, so you say it on the seashore. On, on the, the sea? On the sea shore. Shore. On the seashore. Yes, a la orilla del mar. Okay. Yes, okay, guys. So right now we are going to take the quiz. Okay, this quiz, um, this quiz. Oh, sorry, let me see. Lo voy a mandar al grupo, okay? Give me one second. Okay. This one um, es el quiz, se los mandé al WhatsApp a los que eh, lo tienen que abrir desde el WhatsApp y el código es ese. Ya les mando aquí. Bueno, este, um, this exam or this quiz, guys. Este quiz is about the present continuous. Just to see if you remember what we have covered. Ok. Solo es para ver si se recuerda todo lo que hemos visto. Okay, take it and let me know once you are done. Tómelo y me dice cuando ya lo haya realizado. Use present continuous, okay? Solamente presente continuous, guys. Thank you. 
Okay, I got Amanda, Ives, Joel, Mirna, Noemi, Ronald. Mm -hmm. Let me see. Okay. Diego Carlos Vega. Mm -hmm. Una consulta, teacher. Yes, Kevin. La number seven is Marian to music. Marian is listening to, to music. Mm. Mm -mm. Um, yes. No. El tu de tu music está como extra. Um, it should be like this. Ya lo voy a explicar. Pero bueno. Yes. Uh -huh. Don. Thank you. Wow. Yes, I got uh, Carlos Amaya, Giovanni. I'm missing three of you. Okay. Two minutes. Uh -huh. Okay, I got Rosibel and let me see. Okay. Okay, guys, number seven. Well, number seven, guys, it was like this. La, la siete tenía María y tenía el tú aquí, to music. O sea, es el tú estaba extra. Por eso que la mayoría puso is listening. Pero era esta, porque no tenía que haber estado el tú. Ok. Eh, pero es María is listening to music. Así es la oración. Son las siete. Básicamente todos la tienen buena, pero 
para que no se le olvide, María is listening to, to music. Ok. Luego, la otra que sí, esta. She's running. Algunos me pusieron esta. Recuerde que este run lleva doble N. Ok. Luego, la siete sí era eh, que tenía el extra tú aquí. Eh, ya ahí las demás todos salieron bien en todas. Eh, a ver. Yes. ¿Tienen alguna otra pregunta? ¿Alguna otra duda de este? No. Ok. Let's take the listening. Vaya, ahora vamos con el listening. Voy a mandar aquí primero. Listening. Y la contraseña es listening. Ok. Um, me voy a mandar al WhatsApp. Dime un segundo. Okay. okay, guys, let me know once you're in. I'm going to play the audio twice. Lo voy a poner dos veces. Si necesita una tercera vez, me dice también para ponerlo una tercera vez. Okay. Okay, guys, let me know. Me dice cuando ya esté adentro. Okay, teacher. Okay. Okay. All right, perfect. So here we go, guys. Let me play the recording. Okay. Here vamos. So what is your apartment like? Oh, it's great. There are three bedrooms, a nice kitchen, a living room, and a laundry room. That sounds nice. Yeah, and there's a swimming pool next to the apartment building. And uh, I usually study there, you know. The sun and all. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and there are two fast food restaurants across the street, so it's a quick way to get a meal. Mm, that sounds good. How much yeah. do you pay in rent? Well, I have two roommates, so I pay two seventy five a month. Uh, that's my share. Serious? Yeah. That's a really good price. Yeah, yeah it's not bad. Um, are utilities included? Uh, gas, water, and electricity are included. The internet and cable TV are separate. That's a fabulous price. How on earth did you find a place like that? Just found it online. Wow. That sounds like a nice apartment. Yeah. Come over sometime. Okay, I'll do that. Nadie te entendí. Okay. So again, okay? Aquí vamos nuevamente. Bye. So what is your apartment like? Oh, it's great. There are three bedrooms, a nice kitchen, a living room, and a laundry room. That sounds nice. Yeah, and there's a swimming pool next to the apartment building. And uh, I usually study there, you know, the sun and all. Uh, yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and there are two fast food restaurants across the street, so it's a quick way to get a meal. Mm, that sounds good. How much yeah. do you pay in rent? Well, I have two roommates, so I pay two seventy five a month. Uh, that's my share. Serious? That's yeah. a really good price. Yeah, yeah, it's not bad. Um, are utilities included? Uh, gas, water, and electricity are included. The internet and cable TV are separate. That's a fabulous price. How on earth did you find a place like that? Just found it online. Wow, that sounds like a nice apartment. Yeah, come over sometime. Okay, I'll do that. Okay. Don't teacher. Thank you. One more time, teacher, please. Yes, one more time. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Okay. So, what is your apartment like? Oh, it's great. There are three bedrooms, a nice kitchen, a living room, and a laundry room. That sounds nice. Yeah, and there's a swimming pool next to the apartment building. And uh, I usually study there, you know, the sun and all. Uh, yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, and there are two fast food restaurants across the street, so it's a quick way to get a meal. Mm, that sounds good. How much yeah. do you pay in rent? 
Well, I have two roommates, so I pay two seventy five a month.、Uh, that's my share. Serious? That's、yeah. a really good price. Yeah, yeah, it's not bad.、Um, are utilities included? Uh, gas, water, and electricity are included. The internet and cable TV are separate. That's a fabulous price. How on earth did you find a place like that? Just found it online. Wow, that sounds like a nice apartment. Yeah, come over sometime. Okay, I'll do that. Okay. Bueno, que sea lo que Dios quiera. Don. Okay, let me check. Let me check your scores. Ay, señor bendito. Perdona tu pueblo, señor, perdónalo. Sí. Eh, all right. So,、mm -hmm. I can see that most of you. Got one hundred, and some of you got eighty. The enter. Was it really difficult? Much. <laughs> it was, but I can see that most of you got one hundred. Okay, because it does it on scene. Piece of cake. Yes. Okay. So it was kind of easy. Okay. Um. All right, guys. Um, so before we go, okay, una nueva vez recordarles lo de la plataforma, okay, que no se le olvide completarlo, por favor, sí.、Um, hay bastante de que no no lo han completado, entonces complétela, por favor.、Eh, let me see.、Oscar. El viernes la última clase, verdad? Yes, on Friday.、Mm -hmm. Yes, el día viernes. Uh, let me ask Oscar. Are you here? Yeah. Oh,、okay. yeah, I'm here. Can you stay for the feedback? Se puede quedar para el feedback. Oh, okay. 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 All right. So then, guys, the other ones, you may go ahead and rest. Vaya y descanse. I'll see you back tomorrow. Si no tiene ninguna pregunta, you may go ahead and rest. Okay. Good night. El examen se puede realizar. Good night. Good night.、Um, Good night. Sí, no hay problema. Sí, good night. Sí, no hay problema. Okay. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Okay. So, um, then Oscar, ah, la sal. Por favor, siempre me cuesta. <laughs> Um, good night. Good night. Take care. Okay. Bye. Thank you. And let me see. Bye. Okay. Okay, Oscar. So how are you? ¿Cómo está, Oscar? Pues la verdad, cansado. Estoy cansado. Mucho trabajo. Estamos en época alta de, de ventas y、eh, por eso es que no me pude、eh, incorporar. de forma presencial como los compañeros, ¿verdad?、Sí. Porque tengo muchas obligaciones, entonces eh, pues, eh, quedo a cargo como jefe de, de planta en el turno de la noche y entonces se me complica eso. Tengo que resolver cualquier detalle. Okay, okay, Oscar. Sí, comprendo. Bien, bueno, en ese caso va a ser súper corto el feedback que vamos a tener.、Eh, básicamente, pues quiero pedirle.、Eh, Sé que tal vez me ha estado como completamente en las clases, sin embargo se、sí、ha podido observar la dinámica de la clase, ha estado presente en algunas actividades, entonces quiero pues pedirles su feedback acerca de la clase, cómo se ha sentido en los días que ha podido participar,、eh, le ha parecido la dinámica de la clase, etcétera. Sí, 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 de hecho, y, de, y de hecho este me parece bien, bien dinámica, bien creativa. Comentarle que Yo soy profesor, entonces、eh, conozco mucho de didáctica, pedagogía y todo eso. Entonces, la verdad que la clase es bien, bien, bien dinámica, bien emotiva, sobre todo, y que es participativa. Okay.、Correcto. Sí. ¿Ya había estudiado inglés anteriormente?、Eh, un poco, un poco, verdad. Pero este, me,、eh, me quise probar un poquito con los módulos, verdad, para ver y muchas de las cosas que sí ya, ya las ya la manejaba lo único que tal vez la pronunciación es lo único porque el, la por ejemplo el 
la fórmula de las oraciones sí la manejo bastante, la manejo bastante. Mm -hmm. okay. sí, lo, eh, el, lo único que sí, la pronunciación por ahí, eh, eh, como a, años de, de no practicar. Correcto. Ok, bueno, me parece en realidad que eh, la pronunciación es como lo que cuesta un poquito más siempre, ¿verdad? Pero, sin embargo, bueno, yo le invito a que no se desmotive. Yo sé que pasa súper ocupado y que, bueno, usted me lo ha dicho, pues que a veces queda ahí, ¿verdad? A cargo, entonces sé que tal vez eh, no le queda mucho tiempo de practicar o de, o de estar en la clase, pero eh, pues lo motivo a que siga con los módulos. Okay. No, no lo vayas a dejar así por así, Oscar. Tienen que seguir con los módulos. Anímese. Sí. sí, solo comentarle. Fíjese que ahorita, bueno, de hecho ya me mandaron el correo para el, el módulo 3. Sí. Entonces, por, por el momento voy a cesar, ¿verdad? Porque, o sea, me gustaría hacerlo de completo. Pues. Uh -huh. O sea, compenetrarme y no estar solamente como, como oyente. Sí entiendo muchas cosas, pero la verdad que quisiera ser participativo. Sí, y en no este es, caso, pues, no eh, pues, eso, ¿verdad? Básicamente, que, que, me, que me dice? Entonces, eh, bueno, no, 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 no. por el momento, Oscar, eh, mi feedback hacia usted, ¿verdad? Es que bueno, le agradezco que haya estado en, en presente, aunque no haya estado como 100% en la clase, pero ha sido responsable y siempre se ha conectado. Es rara la vez que no se haya conectado, ¿verdad? Entonces, eso sí, sí, es sí, la, sí, la, la, la responsabilidad. Y pues en ese caso que va a cesar, ¿verdad? Pero siempre retome las clases para que pueda continuar con su guión. Sí, sí, correcto. Y lo que sucede es que, que el, el, se, me, se me ofertó nuevamente el, el, el módulo 3, siempre de 8 a 10. Sí. Pero, pero, pero como le digo, eh, de, con la persona con la administrativa que, que, que se comunicó conmigo, yo le hice ver eso. O sea, que a mí me gusta ser parte de, no solamente estar a la expectativa. Entonces, Voy a, a esperar un poquito, tal vez más adelante sale un horario, porque yo solo trabajo de noche, solo de noche trabajo. Entonces, este, tal vez se da un horario adecuado. Y si no, pues por, por otros medios también, ¿verdad? Creo que no va a ser complicado. Pero, pero por el momento, durante este módulo, sí, sí voy a tomar un receso. Ok, Oscar. Bien, bueno, entonces eso era básicamente todo, ¿verdad? Lo que le quería consultar, Oscar. Le agradezco bastante. Ok, ahí estamos, ya el viernes terminamos con las clases y bueno, le agradezco más que todo la responsabilidad que ha tenido, ¿verdad? Thank you, teacher. Ok, so I'll see you back tomorrow. Take care and have a good night. Ok. Ok, yeah. good night. Thank you. All right, good night. See you tomorrow. Thank you. See you tomorrow.